Hi guys and welcome back. Wow, that was f***ing high. Hi! Hi guys and welcome back to episode 6 of the Rain series. In the previous episode, we tried to get delivery of the past done. We didn't have any luck with it. This one, we're going to get it done. So, that's the plan for this episode. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Alright, as per every episode, we're going to quickly grab our dailies at the very start. We have the painkillers there. Uh, with kill scavs in the thorax or stomach on any map, which is kind of easy for us. And survive one interchange rate. Now, I'm not really that excited about going interchange, but you never know. For some reason, we might go there. Uh, we're a little bit down on our luck when it comes to finances. Our, uh, we haven't had the most success when it came to that. So, um, I really should... Mm, yeah. Let's quickly sort this out. Um, put these in here just to tidy this up. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to do a scav run just to try and get some cash back up. And then after we do the scav run, then uh, we'll be going straight into customs to get our delivery in the past done. So that would go there. Directors would go here. And... I would take one hand to get it. that one, not a pain kill, sorry, that one. Cool, so let's see how we go. Oh, we've got an armor, we've got a decent rig and a decent gun and contacts. Yeah, let's just get into this factory and then we'll take that loadout straight out so we can use it in our next raid. Let's go. Right, we are in. Morphine we need for a quest later. We've got five, 50 seconds to wait before we can leave. I just did the smelliest part of my lifetime. I'll do with an SVD. Maybe we just go through main extract. up we can use the Karasa, the Yama, so the rig the contact we'll call that a win all right we'll keep the beard oil and that I don't know how many morphine we already have we've got four but you do need you do need morphine later on as well and we need that later on as well Let's check. Um, so we went these. I would much rather, honestly, I would much rather take any sort of AKM if possible. We do have three Tashonka. Are they not down in raid? Let's have a look. No, they're all found in raid. Oh, that's... Mm, oh, no, let's risk it for the biscuit. Let's live life on the edge, you know. 20, 22k to repair that. Alright, and then we've got a couple of mags. Maybe just one mag. To be honest, I'd much rather not tank that mag. And then getting a couple of them. I've got heaps of PS rounds. There we go. Cool, and then let's give this a go. Taking your backpack in is really important in my opinion. Like, if we just miss out on a bit of loot, it'd be brutal, you know? It'd be brutal. Good for them. So let's get, even if it's just an MBSS for now, 12K, oh, no. It'll be a good. Very good. All right, cool. So, director's keys are our objective. Just double check there's nothing else. Do we read the past search mission? Nope. Uh, that's just finding 
206, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have 206. Oh, we just have to survive a map for that. Let's take a shooter part two. Oh, we could do that on any map. Cool. All right, let's try and get through a custom trade. All right, we are in. And I'm going to jump straight over this thing to grab the 114 key if we can. We got it. All right, so we do that now. Good key to get. Man, that was messy as fuck. That was messy as fuck. Recalling this thing was insane. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Right, we don't need to take on every scab in the game. We got a long way to go still. So, from here, we need to push all the way to Big Red on the other side. I could unlock. Oh, I could go through the cash registers and that. It's probably not worth it. We're keeping this look armor because it's actually a really good class 3 armor. I'm going to check this quickly here for an Emicon. It's there. Oh god, get up. Alright, so that's the Emicon key for interchange. Big, big win there. Big win. I don't know how much they're going for, but it will save us having to get a quest key, so... Probably a couple hundred thousand rubles, I'd imagine. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, we want to hold on to your shunker when we can. Shunkers are good too. Peace we can eat. Kamaras we can drink. We need the PMs, not the PMT pistols request. Respirators we need for later on, but we don't need it right now, so quite a while, while away.
Alright, so this point up ahead that we're about to go up to is probably the biggest threat we've got. And then for the, uh, for the daily. I'm just grabbing stuff because it sells the money. I should have moved that up here. Okay, keep moving. We shot over at Crank House early on, or that side of the map. I didn't hear any of dorms, but I wasn't really paying attention to dorms. I'm not heading near there. Now, this is the path I pr prefer to take. In an earlier episode, we went around the right-hand side and down over the land bridge. But the problem with that was there's so many like opportunities to get fucked up from the top. I like this direction because it gives you a lot more options to cross over. But generally... You get gonna keep running. But generally this is actually quite a not so busy way to cross over. But this spot where I am right now, yeah, I isn't scavenged here all the time. This bridge this crossing here is generally a lot hit harder to get picked off. Flushing the Mosin behind us. And the main reason for that is that it's not flat. You're going up and down, up and down heap. Even when you get to here, you've got options to go left and right on this uh, pillar. So yeah, gives options. Because on that land bridge on the other side there, if someone's up the top, they can just pick you off. It's so easy to do. And what we don't want is any slow pokes over here to be still hanging about. Have a few scavs. You guys are really laggy on this server. we can right, so quest key and a quest item sorry if we can get a flash drive Intel Dr. Roller
Liquid boards are good. CPUs are good. Oh, get rid of that. We are going to get out of here. There's actually scabs on this side. I probably shouldn't have gone this way. What? <laughs> oh my god. Fucking scabs. I can't believe when I shot full water, then I just fucking sprayed all around him. I should have tapped. At that range, full water. Come on. What a stock AKM with half durability fucking does to you. Well, we did get two keys at least. I did 1288 damage over that raid. I think we went straight down the guts, right? We just went straight down the guts to try and get to the to the gas uh, to the um big red. That's a brutal death. That is a completely brutal death. Um, like I said, I should have gone down the other way just to avoid all those scavs. That I already knew it was on that side. I said it before it even happened. We're low in meds, and yeah, all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we're gonna have to heal up here. Brutal. All right. Let's see. So, can we scav? Seven minutes for another scav. Well, I, I guess we zeroed in here. Kind of thing. All right. Well, let's put the Emicon key there. We don't need the 114 key at the moment. Too far from sitting here, too. I, uh, I can kind of get some money together. We can scrap some money together. Wait, what's that mechanic task? We can't do that because we don't have... I don't need, we don't have... Um, tool sets. Right. Um, let's just keep putting these in here for now. That just really sucked. I can buy... I'm going to go SKS like that. I can buy like a cheapo armor. And we're just gonna make the most of it. <sighs> that was so rough. I was super hyped too. I was like, Amicon get we're fucking winning. Winning! And I was like, I, I was like, do I keep the AKMS? Oh, sorry, the AK it was like AK74M. It's because it would have been a lot more accurate. I was like, ah, oh, we've got the game mess. Let's see that. No. Idiot. Idiot best All right. Uh, we're going to queue into the next raid, but before I do, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. So. We've got a, a, actually a thing from Prepper here. Ooh, a BP-19. Maybe we might use that for a bit of fun. It would require us to take, take a rig in. BP-19. Rig. Three of them. Uh, let's go 120 of them. We're literally that poor. We are literally that poor. Gonna get a copper site for it. We can't afford it. Selling the SKS. All right, bathroom, and then we'll get into the next raid. All right, so I'm back. Scav's actually off cooldown, 
So I'm going to actually do the scav run just so we can keep to topping up that cash flow. Because if we keep forcing ourselves to do this and we die again, we're going to be in a really, really bit of a hurt locker. So let's try and get um, at least those painkillers in this factory run. Four, five, six. Hopefully that's one of the nice scavs. Armor. Зачем мне чё? Чё тут кто? Нет кого чё? Mm, this might be all looted. Yeah. Hopefully... Nah, it's been looted. They might have left painkillers. There's a chance they might have left painkillers. Because, you know, they're painkillers. Nah, look at all. Oh, let's check this and then head out. Don't do a scav. Cool. Little bit of gear there. But it's nice when we can get a bit of um, harder trade items too for harder upgrades if we're going to do them or other stuff. All right, let's get that out. Just do it like this for now. Cool, that's that done. Alright, so instead of taking the packer, I'm going to take this now. I can repair it if I sell some stuff. I'll take the mag off this and then repair this. Should be able to sell it. And there. Cool, put that on. Repair. And repair. All right, let's go. Customs. Kind of do that, but it's going to be kind of dark. I might be dead at the start. We'll see how we go. I'm going to take, I know we don't have much money. I'm going to take all our money. So we can maybe take the car extract if we get the right extract. The right spawn. All right. I might have been a little bit wrong. All right, we have to go back. This is gonna be rough. All right, so the way I wanna do this is we're gonna go back to Big Red through all the dangers. Got a gun here of some sort. B58. All right, Frankie, do your magic, make it visible for everyone. Right now you got night vision. 
I have no idea what he did or how he did it or if it even worked. I didn't realize it would be this dark. I thought it would still be like a little bit of daylight before we got... Oh, actually it took five minutes to load in. That's probably it. We've already done the unknown, unknown quest. I'm not going to take that. We don't really need the packer. This is like the definition of insanity, hey? Eh? Doing the same thing twice and expecting a different result. Just slamming into customs being like, we're going to get this done. And dying at the same stage every single fucking time. So what I'm doing here is just doing a few... I think someone on my right. No. What we're doing is a few hidden stashes along the way. We'll take the land bridge that I took the last raid across the big red. the scav. A little bit of shotgun ammo. I really like shotguns, so... And with the flashlight, we'll be able to actually see where we're going. I can show you guys later. Alright, so we're at Big Red. The plan currently for this raid is going to be go Big Red, go around the back to um, dorms, and then sneak out through the through the uh, car extracted dorms. I don't think I want to take this much shotgun ammo. All the rubles we have currently. Don't need the Amelia's anymore. We'll pass that quest. Ooh, a new flimoscope. That is worth taking here. So the theory is, if we die, we'd be able to vendor that. What the big bucks? All right, let's get out. Just scav outside. Touch and run. Lots oh, of bigger rig. One, two, three. I'll sort it out later. Want to get away from it. I might have to change my server as well. This seems to be a laggy server.
Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. All right. Strategy here is we're going to go to the um, dorms and try and take old the, uh, the cart extract. That's the dream. I haven't heard any shots in dorms. I'm tempted just to go straight to the car extract, but knowing me, I'll probably get ballsy and go actually into dorms. I really shouldn't know. Look at that shot. Right in the fucking jaw. We need that. We need 206. Alright, now we're going to go 206 first. Because right, we need that, don't we? Operation Aquarius, yep. Alright, so we're going to go two-story dorms and then we're going to check the car. We should search every scav. Quite big. <clears throat> we can use that line to um, do the barter trade for a docs case. Once we have therapist level two. Scavenge behind us is shooting at someone. There's three story dorms, two stories on the other side. We're going to push across to that now. Just double checking O. Constantly keeping to see if dorms the X goes green. If it goes green, that means a player's um a player's gone to extract from there. But the door is not open here. I know it's hard for you to see, but it's not. Excuse me, anyone here? Right, so we've been in 206 now, so that quest is now done. In this room, search the jackets. I'm gonna search the jackets from this one and then and then a little bit further up. Because we're already here, might as well check for the keys. Uh, a 110 key. Now we don't need the 206 key at all anymore. 110 downstairs, we can check the safe, see if we can get a flash drive. I know we're being a little bit more ballsy now, but. Um, I've got a few of these, so we can take that. All right, cool. We'll now check this jacket for keys. That rib stop can go next. RBAM. That's actually a decent key. Fuck. Um. Right, I'm gonna pre med here. It's gonna do like the head ringing thing. Searching some more jackets. Keys we're finding is kind of insane. Could call this one the one with lots of keys. Skull, jeez. Money, money, money. And hopefully, the car will be there. Double checking. Oh, just one more time, just before we get too close. 
Okay, someone's already over there waiting. Can't see the car. Alright, no car. So we're just going to hug the, the boundary here and just try our best to get out. Now, our biggest threat this late is people running hidden stashes at night time. So, the way I'm going to try and avoid that is to skip a few of them and not go too close to the wall. There's um, a little campsite just here. And there's two flash drive spawns at it. But the guitar is here. In between... The bag and the uh, the log. There's two a flash drive spawn in each of those. Alright, so instead of going down to new gas, I'm gonna just go through this fence and then just go around the outside of it. I'm not gonna hug the wall completely though. So that's the new gas over there. The wall's all the way over there. The hidden stash runners will go across that way. Although, actually, going to, there's a couple near new gas, too. I kind of want to go between those two. Go through the top of the hill. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I, I don't mean to do straight nighttime raids without MVGs. I think I need Skier 2 to be able to do nighttime raids with MVGs and I can actually show you more. But it's also something to take note of that nighttime raids usually have a lot better chance of uh, survival. I mean, the less people doing them or... less sweaty players running around trying to kill everyone. Now the major threats as we come down the back side of this hill near checkpoint, there's a sniper scav that sits in checkpoint uh, itself on top of that tower or in that tower. There's also a sniper scav that sits up on the hill on the left here. So you can actually have a sniper scav up here shoot at you too. We don't really notice that one very much. He doesn't really, he's not the biggest threat but he, he is a threat. And then that's the sniper scav spawn over there. Gonna sprint straight across here. Not exposing myself too long. People. To walk a little bit longer. Be great. Huge raid. So we actually spawned in at Crack House. So we had to run all the way back to. Um, Big Red, do all the stuff at Big Red, run all the way along, hit up dorms because we got the uh, we got the 206 key, so we took advantage of that, found RBAM in dorms, two-story as well, uh, found a line, and then, should we found a line somewhere else, didn't we? Yeah, in that, in that scab body by the, the car. No car was there to extract, so we had to run, run out, and I just avoided pretty much everything, even the hidden stashes on the way out, just to get out of there. Now we got the 206 quest done. We also got uh, delivered in the past. We got the, the document out. So now we need to go into factory and drop it off. I always do it at night time. All right, so first things first, let's hand in Operation Aquarius part two. Sorry, part one. Part two is just to kill scams. Um, and we need to find one more gas analyzer. Now I'm just gonna dump all of these uh, items here inside there. I'm pretty sure it's two. 
two painkillers, so we have to try and get another one. Um, the Veritas brick we can uh, just hand in, so we can vendor that. I'm going to sell that on Flea once we get it. Uh, that goes down there. MP5, we just vendor that. Oh, we could use it. We could use it. Uh, get rid of the whiskey. We'll need that probably at some point. I'm going to take my shotgun in for night time. Which also means RBAM uh, we can hold on to. Might put these ones over here. Meds. Uh, another 110 key. I think we already have 110. We do. All right. We can get rid of 110. Two flimmerscope. Big win there. I don't know if we already have one. Oh, it looks like we did. Well, we need two if you're going to do the hideout upgrade. So we've got two. If needed. That can go down there. That can go down there. I don't believe I have a factory key. Still haven't been lucky enough to find one on this account. Cool. Uh, as for this, we can drop that stuff off. Rest space is ready for construction. Should we do it? Probably take all our money. It's only 10k. Then we do it. All right. Now, for the nighttime factory. I'm just going to drop that off like that. We need to get in there and we have to drop this item off. We don't want to mess about. Oh, we survived the, this one too. So we can hand that in. Ziv chick. So, we go in, we run straight to our point, we drop off the item, we win. That's the objective here. MC, factory, nighttime, let's go. All right, nighttime factory. So, objective, get in, run to the spot, place the item down. I'm just going to run. We're going to go through the bathroom. So that's pretty much how I do deliver in the past every time. Let's get some uh, some rubles. We need to place down a toolkit. I'm not going to try and place it. Jenny and I were like peas and carrots. Yes, 
Нет никого. I should check. I should check the safe for um. Flash drive. Dear diary. My master has left me outside the bedroom again. I will stand guard and sing the song of my people until they return. Oh. What's the other thing I need from filing cabinets? I know there's something. You can get flash drives in filing cabinets. Wow, this has been a completely empty filing cabinets. Alright, let's go. So I'm gonna try and drop off this. Um, this toolkit. Hello? Farming part one, half of that one done. Big dubs on the key finds. It's time I leave. That was lucky. Night time, factory. No one in here. EP located. Time to get out. It's no. good to go. Time to get out. It's good to go. <laughs> Born in over. Uh, we call it single player when I was first started this game. Single player side. Went straight to dropping off the delivery in the past. Once we dropped that off, I looted a little bit around there and got out. Oh, after the past, planting summer farming part one. I didn't hear a single other player in there, which is good. Um, but yeah. Big W's there. That will actually get us comfortably into 13. We'll get delivered in the past, handed in. Oh, that's what I wanted from filing cabinets. Um, gas analyzer. Alright, so as for these, I'm going to sell... I'm not going to get the water filter done in this hardcore playthrough. So, I want to sell these to a good friend, Peacekeeper. We get our money spent there. Um, these keys can go. Probably could have sold those on the flea market, actually, but oh well. Water can go. Um. Amazing how a couple of raids can make the biggest difference when it comes to your cash flow. BP Depot, we can hand in the markers for that. Um, make that fit. I'd have to do something like this. Cool. 
All right, it's a mess. It's a complete mess, but it's my mess. It's our mess. So we will embrace it. That's our mess. Cool. Well, that is the end of this episode. Big dubs. We got a... Um, we're level 13, so we just got to get a couple more quests done here. And uh, we can have Therapist level 2, which means we can actually start getting a heap more stuff sorted. And we've got a little bit of cash flow back up, which is nice. So uh, a couple of big keys. Got the Emicon key, RBAM, which is a good one for reserve. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Big, big, big episode for us. A lot of prog progress. Keep an eye out for what's going on in the intros. So I said, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Use your drill. Share it with your friends. If they're new to Tarkov, help, hopefully that will help them get some progress. Um, take advantage of nighttime raids. So take away from this one. You saw how much quieter it was. We heard the gunshots of players around. But we were just getting our shit done and leaving everyone else alone. Um, besides that, guys, watch out for sayings, scams, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So lastly, I'll see you next time.